Hey guys, um, I'm going to make a little video today and show you how to um, actually take a label from a mason jar. Um, we use uh, mason jars for a lot of stuff. We put, uh, we put water in them or whatever. We use them for iced tea glasses or whatever, you know, put sweet tea in or whatever. Um, but um, I'm going to show you how to get to something I stumbled on just by accident. I thought I'd try it one day. I was here at the house by myself, and I said, well, you know what? I need to get labels off them, them jars. But uh, every time I ever do it, you know, the, the label's always gunked up on the jar, and, and it's hard to get it off or whatever. But right here in the microwave, <clears throat> I got two jars in the microwave already. Um, basically, what you do is you fill the, the jar up with water about a half inch above the label. Um, and then when the jar is finished in the microwave, I usually cook it for about three minutes. Um, I'll put three or four in there. Um, if I use three or four jars, last night I had a uh, a big uh, pork roast that I cooked in a, in the crock pot yesterday, and uh, I had about four jars of uh, bone sucking sauce that I put in there with it. And um, so uh, I said, well, you know, I'm gonna take the labels off, and I'm gonna show my buds how to uh, how to get theirs off. But here you go. There's a whole label off. It's not tore all the pieces. It's you know, it's it's. You know, one piece, but it comes right off, releases the glue and everything, so you ain't got all the mess and everything. But uh, there's the microwave. Let me step up here and get it. Um, we'll put that one right there. I'll reach up here and I'll get this one out. Now, they're going to be hot, so you're going to have to be extra careful dealing with it, okay? Let's see if I can move this around here. Set this on the stove, so I won't set it on the counter. But anyway... You just take that mason jar, as you can see, that water's about a half inch above that label. And it's hot, it's smoking. But you just start it to one corner. And get that mason, get that label peeling. Start at the bottom corner. Once you get this leading edge going. It'll come right off. It's so hot, I can't hardly touch it right now. Okay, we got it started. Okay, once you get it started, be honest with you, that's the hardest one I've done yet. But anyway, get it started. It'll just peel right off. That label's coming right off that jar. There you go. There's a whole label right there. Everything. All on the back side. It's clean. See it? All the glue still stuck to it or whatever. See? It'll stick right to it. It'll stick to something else if you stick it to it right now. But basically, that jar, that jar is 100% clean all the way around it. No, no glue stuck to it, no paper stuck to it, no anything. I mean, it's done. It's clean. Peels right off every time. So uh, that's just something that I learned. And um, <clears throat> I just thought maybe it might pass it on to you guys. And maybe y'all been having the same trouble I've been having with getting the uh, getting everything off, you know. But um, anyway, that's just something I learned. I thought I'd pass it on to you guys. Just an easy way to get the labels off a mason jar. Take care, bye.